All right, hi, my name is Ariel Navarro, and I will be kicking off our presentation for ECE 202A Embedded Systems on our final project, WebAssembly for Embed. Today we'll be discussing our objective and approach for this project, including, um, and then going into our implementation of it, how we did it, um, and all the parts that went into it, and also our final results and what we were able to get out of this project and then evaluation so that we could compare and analyze our results and find the value in our results. Um, and then overall, we're just gonna conclude with our final thoughts and some future work that we could expand. So for the objective and approach. A little bit of background first, um, WebAssembly is an up and coming bytecode format. So normally this has been typically used with web browsers, uh, but nowadays um, we've seen a lot of um, advantages to this, including that WebAssembly is a little more secure than natively programming and things like C or C++. So we've started to see applications of WebAssembly um, into different applications such as embedded systems um, and up and OSs. So for our objective, we are working towards porting WebAssembly Micro Runtime or WAMR to run on Embed OS. Other previous work has kind of already established something similar to this, which includes running WAMR on Zephyr. Uh, so one of our technical approaches first steps was to just get this running uh, WAMR on Zephyr using open source code from Bytecode Alliance. Um, this allowed us to get more familiar with Zephyr and more familiar specifically with Whammer so that we could establish it and run it um, more smoothly and be more familiar with it as we went through our own implementation for Embed. So for the implementation for Embed, this included configuring CMake, um, also porting Whammer to Embed OS, which included implementing our own platform for API layers and uh, compiling Whammer with Embed OS libraries. And finally, uh, we went into evaluating Whammer and considering things like timing for our evaluation. With that being said, we'll move into the implementation section. So I will be handing it over to our other partner here uh, for Utsa to take over. So hey, I will be going over the implementation. And the first thing that we did was to get Whammer running on Zephyr. And for that, we had to set up our build system for Zephyr. Now it turned out to be less straightforward than what we had expected. And we encountered a bunch of bugs, a bunch of bugs in the build system for Zephyr. And one of them was that the new version of CMET had actually broken the Zephyr build system. and. Uh, we had, we had to find that out by asking the developers directly, but we were able to get the Zephyr build system up and running on our, on our Windows machine. After that, we, under, we understood what the mini product for Whammer on Zephyr was trying to accomplish. And we were able to, from that, understand what is the correct syntax for exporting native functions. And we were able to understand how we would pass values to Whammer functions and store its return results. Another aspect before we started to run Wasm on Embed was to have Wasm modules available to us. Now there is up and coming support for converting JavaScript and Rust and uh, other programming languages too, to Wasm modules. But for this project, we primarily used uh, the Wazai SDK that was available along with the uh, Whammer. And Wazai SDK currently uses CLang to compile C programs to Wasm modules. And that is what we used for this project. And to do that, we had to find and configure the correct sysroot. We had to find the correct options to pass to the CLang compiler to make it know that what uh, functions it needed to stop searching for its definitions and what functions it needed to like export in the Wasm modules so that those can be picked up by Whammer and identified and linked up current correctly with the native functions that uh, Whammer's calling program would have in its environment. And so with that, we were able to compile Wasm modules. Then we moved on to porting Whammer to embed. And uh, this task was made, uh, was made possible to us due to the 
good engineering practices that the developers of Wammer had incorporated. And so the entire library had to use a bunch of operating system calls and operating system dependent uh, software, but they had cleanly separated that and uh, pushed all of the platform dependent functions into their own API. And that, may, that makes the rest of the Wammer platform truly independent of the OS that it needs to run on. And so we, all we have to do was to get Wammer running on embed was to implement this uh, API connecting layer with functions that are available in embed. After that, we also had to configure the CMake file so that it correctly builds the entire, so that it, it knows that embed is now available to be compiled. And finally, we also added a mini product in tradition to what has been done for other operating systems too. And it shows how to quickly set up a module, run a Fibonacci function and exit. After that, we had to integrate the build systems. So we had for embed, the primarily build system being used currently was completely dependent on Python. And that would not have worked for us because the build system being used by Wammer was in CMake. So luckily we were able to find that uh, the USC Rocket Propulsion Lab for their own project had actually converted Embed's build system into a CMake one. And with that as our starting point, we were able to combine the CMake files from Embed with the CMake files from Wammer so that Wammer would be included in the static library which has all of the embed functions available to us. And once Wammer is available in the static embed library, our program can include the correct files and it would be able to set up uh, the Wammer runtime. And now moving on to the some of the scripts that we wrote for our implementation. So one of the scripts that we wrote was to make the serial monitor available on Windows and uh, we, we needed to do that because uh, terminals like Minicom were not av available to us. So we wrote uh, one ourselves, which were able to identify the COM port and display the output coming from our boards. We also wrote a script to com compile the VASM modules. And then from the binary, from the VASM binary, extract all of the bits and uh, present it in a in a, in a C array, which, would, which we would be able to include in a C or a C++ file. Finally, we also, we also wrote, uh, automated the build process, which would build Wammer and embed together because uh, it would need to configure all of the files to compile to either the ST Nucleo board or the Arduino Nano board. And then it needed to run the CMake command and then finally make make the files using the make command and we were we built scripts for that too so moving on to the reverse of our project we were we were able to have wammer available on all of the embed devices and uh, we were able to know that because uh, our wammer cmake build system and our implementation would compile and run on an embed enabled board, which was STM32 F411 Nucleo. It was able to run on that board and we were also able to compile for the Arduino Nano 33 PLE board. But uh, that is not uh, all as uh, moving on to the next slide. As we see here, since we are using the USC RPL's embed CMake, it supports being compiled to a lot of different targets, ranging from Nordic boards to a lot of STM boards and a lot of other NXP Renaissance and other boards too. And since our Wammer is integrated into the build system of this CMake for this embed operating system, Wammer is now available to be run on all of these, all of these targets. And uh, that was the primarily that was the primarily that was the primary accomplishment of our project. Okay, so now we uh, will move on to the evaluation portion of our project.
Um, as part of our evaluation, we evaluated this uh, Arduino library called WASM3, which is an available interpreter for embedded devices. So this library basically is able to interpret WASM code on the fly. And uh, as part of our evaluation, we wrote a Fibonacci script, or not script, but code, and it computes a Fibonacci number using the recursive way. And uh, it takes a long time to compute, and that's why we use it. And uh, yeah, so we chose to calculate the 24th Fibonacci number, and uh, the top illustration in the top right is uh, the Fibonacci code in C++. And when it's compi uh, compiled to a WASM bytecode, it, it looks like the array on the bottom right. And the uh, timing results are shown here. So if you look at the graph on the right, on the x-axis, we have the different boards and their operating system and uh, runtime combinations. So we have three different boards running different combinations of operating system and uh, runtimes. And on the y-axis, we have uh, execution time in milliseconds. So as you can see, the blue bars are a native program uh, running C++ uh, or C. So it runs really fast, takes such a short amount of time to compute the 24th Fibonacci number. And uh, the green bar is using uh, the, the code compiled to its respective uh, WASM runtime. So we have Arduino on WASM3 on the right, uh, faster than the other two, which is running Whammer on Embed and Zephyr, respectively. Next slide, please. So um, to sum it up, our project analysis, uh, the strength is that WebAssembly is more secure than native C code. That's why we uh, investigated running WASM on Embed OS. And also the uh, ahead of time compilation of Whammer is, uh, we'll see significant speed ups as part of our future work. We got to uh, figure that one out. And um, for weaknesses, Arduino implementation requires bootloader support. What that means is we can't really upload uh, anything to Arduino, can't upload uh, embed OS things to Arduino because it's uh, abstracted away from the user. WASM3 implementation on nuclear board is not very available, so that's one weakness. And finally, ahead of time implementation, we did not get enough time to implement that for our project. So in conclusion, WebAssembly can now be run on devices using Embed OS because of our porting and Whammer is successfully ported to Embed. Thank you.